The biggest lie artists tell themselves is when I'm signed, that's when it'll happen. When I get a manager, when I have enough money. This reminds me of when I toured Japan. And because the thing that a lot of artists, I feel some want or the lie that is told about the industry is just like this idea that like your whole calendar is packed and everybody's organizing it for you. And the manager is doing this and the booking agent is doing that. And all you do is just do your little thing, you just do your music just in the studio and you're just told what to do and success is just brought to you on a silver platter. Well, wake up, buttercup. That's not how it works. The one time, maybe two, three times in my life, especially when I toured Japan, I remember the whole schedule was organized. We had a translator. We had a tour guide. The label was taking me from interview to interview to interview. Then I sound check was this time, signing autographs is this time. Like it was extremely organized. Getting in a taxi cab, getting taken care of. Dinner was here, lunch was here. It was like, it was beautiful, right? And that exists sometimes, like even on tour, on a bigger tour where you got the schedule for the day, you got your day sheet, right? And it's just like, boom, 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 boom. But what you don't realize is, is what it took to get there. You gotta be a self starter. Like I didn't blow up in Japan because I just wrote music or whatever. No, it's because I got the idea to email a booking agent. First, I got the idea to hire the right producer, take the risk and invest thousands of dollars of my own money to make the record and then go on tour, promote it, market it, wake up every single morning, come into my studio, my room where I struggle with the same fears, same insecurities, same doubt. They say entrepreneurism, it's like chewing glass every morning because you gotta be a self starter. You gotta be like, okay, is this worth it today? Why am I doing this? What is the purpose of this, right? To get it going to the point that maybe you do have someone, you do have a team that's gonna help you accomplish your goal. But then it's not every day isn't like that. Like you think it's just gonna be every day and you're just handed your dreams, handed the plan every single day? No. Sometimes there's moments of that when you go on tour or you have an album release and maybe you hired a publicist where you had to spend the money and they were actually a good publicist or whatever. And I don't even like publicists, but I'm just giving you the example, like, and they schedule a whole bunch of interviews for you and on the day of your release, but really you just hire a VA or have an admin that works for you, not contracted out where you're paying ridiculous fees. But the idea is they give you your schedule. Here's your schedule for your release day. You got an interview with this person at 10. You got an interview with this person at 10.30. It's just like, boom, 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 boom. Then you got to record your radio liners. Boom, boom, boom. Then you got to do this. And it's just all planned out for you, but you're not going to get even close to that point if you can't be a self-starter yourself. And what do I mean by self-starter? You set the alarm clock and go and do the work even when you don't want to. You do the hard stuff, registering the songs, scheduling things, moving stuff forward. This morning I had to um, register some songs with sound exchange and different things that just needed to get done. They're not fun, they weren't sexy, but they were important. It's not always just about writing songs and dancing around in the studio and inspiration, no. Sometimes there's just, just plain hard work that needs to get done. And if you're not willing to do it, how can you expect someone to do it? Because you don't even know what has to get done. And you think someone's just gonna come in and save you. No one is to save you. How many times I thought, oh, if I just hire this manager or hire this person, if I'm under them, then everything will work out. And then I realized that I'm just micromanaging them because no one is going to care about your career as much as you. So stop telling yourself this stupid lie that, oh, once I have this, then everything will be better. Everything will work out. No, it starts with you. When you start taking responsibility for your career, your music career, and your dream, and stop pointing the blame on everyone else. One of the things that used to drive me nuts about band members is that they, they, they always wanted to be in a band. I want to be in a band because I don't want to take full responsibility if the thing fails, if it doesn't work out. Well, I can say it's Johnny's fault or Mikey's fault or Sarah's fault. And so taking responsibility, that's why I say to artists, like, look, you can be in a band, but you are the artist. You hire out the bandmates. All the risk is on these shoulders. Why do I, why did I get paid so much even when I had the band and everything? Because I was the one taking the risk. I was the one swiping the credit card on hotels, food, paying everybody every single night, even when I didn't get paid. Even when, you know, people stiffed me, I still paid everybody else. Heavy is the head that wears the crown. 
all right? And so you got to be willing to take responsibility. But guess what? I was the one who risked. I was the one who got the reward. And there is no reward without risk. There is no triumph without tragedy. There is no champion without a giant. You got to kill some things. You got to slay some things. You got to overcome some stuff. To get to something, you got to go through something. And you can either go through it and it takes you out or it can make you stronger. What did Kanye West said? If it doesn't kill me, it makes me stronger. And you're still here. You're still breathing. Maybe you're discouraged. Maybe you're depressed. Well, man, I love you. Keep going, bro. Keep going, girl. Don't give up. I get depressed. I have a discouraged thought. I have a depressed thought sometimes. I just don't listen to that thought. I stop listening to that thought. Here's your motivation. Five keys to conquering fear and reaching your dreams. Read it. I went through hell and back. I lost my dad to suicide. I went broke. Went thousands of dollars in debt. Dug myself up. I was depressed. I wanted to give up so many times. So many times I wanted to quit this. But then what? Oh, you, you, you want the weight of knowing that you're a quitter? You want, you want to be known? Like some of you, you quit things all the time. You don't stay with anything for a long period of time. You're good starting stuff, but you're, you're horrible at finishing stuff. Finish it. Go finish one song that you've demoed and you've ideated out. Take your wallet and put your money where your mouth is. You say you believe in this thing. You don't need a new t-shirt. You don't need a new necklace. You don't need a new ring or watch. Take your money and invest it into your music and marketing it. And if you screwed it up and you don't know what you're doing, hire a coach. Hire somebody and get the knowledge of someone that's where you want to be. Say, dude, can I pay you? Don't just say, I want to take you out for lunch and pick your brain. No, people don't get to pick this brain. Here, here's an invoice, bro. $1,500 an hour. You want to pick my brain that I spent tens, hundreds of thousands of dollars on? You just want to pick it for free? And then you'll do nothing with it? People that pay, pay attention. You know, do you think basketball coaches make it easy on their players? You think the army managers or the, the head guys make it easier on the soldiers? No, you got to make it hard. Because if you can't figure out this small stuff, you're not going to be able to handle the big stuff. He who is faithful with little will be ruler over much. But if you're not even faithful with what you got right now, how are you going to be ruler over much? Of course, I want to invite you to this next 10x your fan base five day challenge where you can ask me questions. If you get a VIP ticket for a fraction of what I charge, I charge $1,500 an hour, but this VIP challenge isn't even, and you get five days straight over Zoom video chat, okay? And you'll be with other artists asking questions so that you can grow and learn. It's like, oh, I didn't think of asking that question. Shoot, I should have asked that, but you get to benefit from it. You get to benefit from other questions. Oh, that, that person's got something going on. Wow, they're, they're doing something. I wanna work with them. You know, instead of my complainer broke friends, let's hang out with let's hang out with artists that are willing to even invest in a coach. Like, do you want to hang out with the people that are just trolling YouTube, trolling all these things, or do you want to hang out with people that actually invested money in their music and they've got the same goals, aspirations you are? Like, why I love being um, in, in in big masterminds and stuff that I have to pay thousands of dollars to be a part of because it puts me around other winners and other big thinkers and it challenges me to level up so i want you to level up click the link below this video i think it's 10xyourfanbase.com forward slash live challenge we still have some tickets left to this challenge but i want to pack this thing out i want to help as many artists as we can so stop telling yourself the lie you know i'd rather slap you with the truth than kiss you with the lie you know what i'm saying and the truth hurts sometimes Truth hurts, sometimes the song isn't good enough. The truth hurts, the mix isn't good enough. The truth is, you screwed up the last release. Well, guess what? The cool thing is, you are a creator. You got another idea, you got another song in you, you got another cover in you, you got life in you, you're still breathing. If you're watching this video, that means your story ain't done yet. So keep writing it. And if you don't know Jesus, write him into your story because he loves you and he believes in you. <laughs> Scared to get on that stage? Do it afraid. Scared to jump off those stairs on your skateboard? Do it afraid. Scared to call and put your resume in? Do it afraid.